And I've said that for so long. I've maintained that if you're going to call up an NXT talent, fine, bring them up if that's what you want to do. But have some sort of a plan in place. I don't think that's happening at all. What I'm thinking is happening is this talent is being called up before any thoughts or plans are made for them. It's like the writing team is not going to even think about them until they see them backstage and they're there and say, okay, it's time to write Lars Sullivan into the show or it's time to write EC3 into the show. And then they just worry about it that day. Like you should start trying to come up with ideas for these guys, man. And it never happens that way. They just flounder when they come in. Bobby Roode didn't do shit. The Authors of Pain didn't do shit. So many other talent, when they came in, they just... You know, the magic that they had in NXT is gone. So now you're just going to bring up a half a dozen of them at once and throw them in our faces? Okay, fine. But if nothing is changing internally with the writing, then all this is going to mean is more faces for you to fuck up. You know, I mean, we're going to get a few new matches for a little while. But again, you know, it'll get to the point where if you put EC3 on SmackDown, or you put EC3 on Raw, I should say, and he works with Jinder Mahal, you know, within two months, we're going to see 19 matches between those two. I'm really glad that Velveteen Dream is not a part of this because a lot of people were talking to me on Monday during the stream like, oh, this is bullshit. Where's Velveteen Dream? Dudes, chill. You don't want him as one of these six. You want him coming in on his own. You want him to be either a surprise somewhere or somebody that's being built up with vignettes, maybe similar to Lars Sullivan, or uh, just running promos for his eventual uh, appearance on one of the main rosters. And again, with Velveteen Dream, goddammit, know where you are going to go with him for eight months. No, eight months in the future, a general idea where you want him to go. You can deviate from that plan because not everything always goes to plan, but at least have an idea in mind. Okay, we're going to bring him in in February. Let's kind of sort of pencil in his storyline path through uh, September, just for example. Why can't they do that? They got uh, they got two dozen fucking writers there on both shows. How hard is this to do? I can do this fucking shit, and I got a full-time job. 